So in this video we will synchronize so when one is attacking over here we can see it will also update on the other player. Uh, so you can follow along how much health people have and stuff like that. So it also will update the health bar. So we're going to make some changes. So let's see if we can fire the combat player script. Uh, combat, combat player script. So let's see, let's see. Uh, we want this uh, update target frame to happen uh, multiple times. So let's say that we could put it inside. Take this here and I think you can actually put it inside here as well. So it keeps updating as long as we have a target. That way we can uh, get the information all the time. And then we will go into the health of the player. Um, I think we will change a bit in here as well. So instead of doing current fill here, we will add the current fill up in the void change here. So just put in here and then just write new here. And then we're also going to say health image dot fill amount equals to current fill. I think then we delete that line like that. And then we're going to say that this is a server reference like that. And what can we more do? We have the start function here. Seems right. Yeah, so for now let's do it like that and then go into the health of the enemy. And inside the health of the enemy we are doing a bit something similar. So we have the void take damage. And inside there we're gonna say take this part and remove it and can put it let's see um, on void chains see here and we can actually rename this to uh, I think it would be better to call it enemy current fill. And instead of this, we will take a uh, new that. Um, yeah, I think that's better that way. What we also need to do is to make sure that um, this UI camera doesn't like come twice. So we actually did one time before. So let's go into the prefabs and go into the player. And if you go into the player controller, you can see that we made uh, like here game cam uh, set object false. Uh, so if there's more players, there will not be more cameras. So we also need to make like a UI uh, cam dot game object uh, set active false and we're just gonna add the object so public game object UI can and then this one will not be read anymore then we need to put in a reference So we have the selected enemy, we have a UI cam, and UI cam will, oh, there will just be, let's see, all of this. 
and let's try build it now and see if it works okay so now we're inside the game so we have uh, one client here and another client here and we go over and try to attack the enemy we can see that the health is going down and the person is dead and we can see our health is going down but not this health is going down uh, so it actually seems like it is working and we can have different targets so for now this is working 